Luna here, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Let's just get right back into it, shall we? We are in We've covered spikes and home fragments attempted to deny. Once we have an actual map, and we have quite a l little bit to do. Well, we only have to go really to the DMV, the Government Valley. at the uh, DMV because, quite frankly, we're here to try and... It looks sad. Or okay, not bothering anybody, but this is the one I don't want to talk to. I'm on standby the health. Wait, what? Interesting. But yeah, we're here because we got called in to... Because we got... We don't have a magical license. Not for you. Did someone that hex watch must escape SIT? Would it, why would it be at a DMP? Rumble, rumble. What brings you to the DMP today, Rumble? Not exactly lightning. What if I. Do you mind if I cut in front of you? Rumble. Come on, please, Rumble. You're literally made of rocks. You're operating on a geological scale. You literally have all the time in the world. Um. Rocks explain to it. Look, you don't need to be here, Rumble. You're made of. Hypercrystallized thumbic diorites, you don't need wizarding license because you don't cast spells, you're just inherently magical, Rumble. I'm sorry, but you're much too heavy to drive a car, Rumble. I leave sadly. Sorry, bye. Interesting. Mostly bullets. So I guess I just. Guys, it doesn't matter if someone trying to be patient while holding a shotgun. Talked about. Got registered my shotgun. Oh, neat. Is it magical? No, regular. Then your shotgun needs a driver license? No, a shotgun license. They do those here too. Shotgun. I need the license. A license to drive. It's weird. What do you want? Can I get in front of you? No, scrape. Let me try it. Tell them about the whole camp. So, are you hope I'm guessing from your hat? Sorry if that's super rude assumption me. It is, but you're right. I am a hobo. What, what that, what's that got to do with it? Well, there's a hobo camp right out of town. Since you're a hobo, I bet you could register your gun with the hobo king and stuff right here. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Thanks. Hi. Uh, swarm of bees. Taco. Excuse me. What does the swarm of bees need to do with the DMP? Bzz, bzz, bzz. Do you think it's a DMP? Ha ha ha. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I don't know what you're saying. Um, why have I cut a line ahead of you? Bzz, 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 bzz. Spec them. Wait a minute, are you guys bumper mergers? Bzz. You can't drive a car, it's illegal. Be so shocked in the shed, then fly away. Phew. A honking tucked off man tiger scooter said Minotaur. Me here for I don't know, it's so nice. Drive no systems? I can't drive, don't fit any cards. I have to ride totally trolley work. That's why a lot of people like, oh, huh. Now what do you want? I, I'm too mad to have a conversation right now. I'm just kind of wondering if you mind if I went in front of you, kind of do get back and ask about my magicalness. I don't need spells, just in random mazes and labyrinths and Swedish furniture stores. Do you need a license for being magical research? That would be racist. That would be like if I need a license for being Greek. Oh yeah, jeez, good point. Maybe you just don't need to be here. What do you mean? It doesn't seem like any of the stuff they do here applies to you. So I came here for nothing? But I'm wasting my time? Yeah, I feel you pain, but I think that's the case. Damn it, do you know how long it gets in and out of the labyrinth? Sorry, bye. Doctor, and what brings you here today? Not much, I just need a sa staple removed from these old documents. Can't you pull them out yourself? Try, but the titanium staple. I'm not as surprised as it used to be. See, would I. Would you mind if I cut for any man? Certainly would. I've been waiting my turn patiently, so can you? Can you remove the staple? And look, ma'am, I just so happen to have a titanium staple removed here. I was just wondering if I was going to find a use for it. Oh, how marvelous. You have recently removed the staple from a bunch of documents. Thank you so much. Now I can spend the rest of the afternoon cozies for my collective infantry machine guns. She leaves with a wave. Welcome, bye. I wonder if there's an achievement for it, actually, uh... Helping it. Show the clerk your form. Wizarding license renewal form. Astra, she asked me. 
to the right and through the mouth. Come again. The floor and lights flicker for a moment. The room is the longer than it was before, and there's a gigantic demonic mouth hovering in the air. To the right and through the mouth. Um, I see. Let it swallow me, I guess. The giant mouth hacks you up like a hairball into the office that clearly belongs to Dark Noel. How she can be got into got to snow in here is anyone's guess, but probably it's dark magic some kind. All these questions are labeled not Esther. Dark Noel gives you a cheap wave and cracks her knuckles. It's time to do this. Thanks for coming to my little crumbo party Esther. Not that there was much of getting a chance getting here pulling a no show. People say I'm obsessed, but all wizards are obsessives. All I had to do was make it make you jump was take away your license. I don't need license to take you down a wall. I consider my civic duty, and then again, just like I did the swamp. That was just a fluke, and the fluke doesn't have any crumbo spirit, but now you're on my turf. Well, if you do a, a if you think I'm gonna switch allegiances and join your dark crusade or whatever, you got another think coming. I was gonna ask, I hate your guts. Fine, I hate yours too. Fine, good. Challenger. D which bewitchment? Enough talk, Noel. Let's sell this like we are magic users with a traditional wizard duel. How charming. Gladly, I'll even mark magic novice and let you go first. Give me your best sh shortcake. She thrusts her palms forward and laughs. She Launching a huge brick of buttery cookies straight to your head. Stiff rise! Quick circular motion as your arm conjures a shield of semi soft cheese, deflecting the short bread harmlessly. You throw the shield forward, but Noel dies at this side. So you decide to fight dirty. Who's naughty and who's nice aside by the winner, dear? Counter attack. Montgomery. Montgomery Jackhammer. Seamer rubs from your palm as you hurl a massive pointed log of my white semi hard cheese at your opponent. Meet me under the mistletoe. Leafy green darts. A dart machine guns out of her hands, shredding your attack. You dive and roll to escape as she redirects the remainder of her spell you. Yeah, you wish, lady. Don't flatter yourself. Let it snow. Blizzard of snow and ice gust towards you with a glare of force power. Defend. Mombarilla. Your magical barrier protects you just long enough to outlast the storm, and you cast a ragged tatters of it away as you stand and prepare an attack. You will never defeat me without all your allies and familiars. Maybe you got a point, Provol Provolon Wolf. A howl pierces the air, and a pure white wolf dashes out behind you and shows there's no well fanged bear. Tinsetel? Blowing silver vine around from my hand, tangling the wolf. Tinsentacle? It's clear, uh, Pomerant and Tinsel and Tentacle. Come on. He did Mombarella for crying out loud. makes perfect sense. Tentacle seems kind of dubious. Your face seems kind of dubious. Six keys a leg. A whirlwind of white feathers, steel talons, and hawking foes the air streaming directly at you. Defend. Recruit Fortress. A tower of blue veined white marble surrounds you, protecting you from honking slot eshing assault. When the noise subsides, you dispel the town and step forward. Dark Noel watches you carefully preparing your next move as you twist your fingers around in a complicated gesture. Alright, how's it go? <laughs> how's it go to hell? <laughs> you take off sprinting to Noel who's expecting a spell that does not exist. In the second it takes her to realize you're bluff, you cover it half the distance you are. Furious, she whips her arms in the air. Black Knight is the lightning creates around her hand as she screams, Feliz, power through! <laughs> Feliz Navidad! <laughs> Trading cheese theory, what? Keep sprinting. Noel's eyes are dead black, her hair is whipping around her like snakes. The black lightning in her hair is corresponding into the shape of a grinning skull. You whip a thick, furious strand of string cheese at her wrist, trying to tie the, trying them together and interrupting your spell. And then you punch her in the face. Oh, my dose, you jerk, does foul finisher. Yeah. And your fist slam into her repeatedly, too fast to be followed by human eyes. Gorda, Gorda, Gorda. Dark Noel collapses to the ground, utterly defeated. You're a naughty, I'm nice. <laughs> Go ahead, finish me off. Make it a red crimbo. I think you've proved my point already. I let you out of here alive. If you promise to leave the country and never return. Huh. Maybe you are the nice one. Alright, I'll leave if that's what you want. Or you can open your presents. My presents? Yeah, really. It's my present. My second form. I, but I didn't get the chance to show it to you. It's really cool. But if you want to see it, you'll have to fight in, in regular combat. No takes back. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's do this.
Guy Hunter, second sphere, second form sweet sweet. Shame about having to actually fight the terrifying thing. Let's do it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I, I can use five more items. You know what? Let's double my moxie, cause bleeding. Sleeze damage. Wow, you want? Maybe it's Jolly Him with jo Holly Jelly Crumb after all. Ho ho ho. Peppermint striped to search it. Key to the Black House. This is less than a deck mark with rafting station. You don't find any information. But underneath there's pipes, scraps, and ribbons. And like, think times you do find a look important looking key. Make small talk. So there's nothing else here. I guess we can just a mere commit. Top of the statue. See if there's any soda left. Rock doesn't belong here. Do you like to play with matches? Sure we all do. This is not the one. Very people authorizing in this issue. I authorize him, and I authorize him. Very droll, but I'm not fall for some fond of routine. Why heck, you haven't even heard music on that Hit it, Abby. <laughs> What's this feeling stirring within me? That's life, man. Come on, throw up that shit. Cause you're right. There's no more life to accountants and ledgers and committed meetings. I'm gonna get out there and buy smart. Oh, okay, that's close enough. Some kind of strange metal. I'm going to the house last. Uh, half animal, half plant, alien shadow creature. Toot. Toot the oboe. Um, total damage. Mostly just click some goodies. You just trying to see what all there is. Got a rock expert, close it. He's in the number at their house now. I'm there with them. It's not them. Point the tongue. Wait, who are you? Darn it. So. Maybe this is the fight area. Like, uh, spider with big mouth, human teeth, screen. Collect love of the samples. Popcorn. Wait. <laughs> 
What will you do on the serenity day when your house is on fire? How will you get out when you're in chain? Who will save you? What questions do you want me to answer first? This is my answer. Do you want me to this telephone or should I burn it? Give it. Give it to me. At least tell me who you are, either of you. I wonder if this is another endless fight. like another endless fight area. This is also uh, concrete buildings, discuss the look. What's the answer? Crew are trying to turn everything just rows of concrete blocks without any significant life, emotion, or freedom or rights. To be honest, I think their goal is to squeeze all the juice out of everything and then this is just the most efficient way to do it. Be damned, I'll take this off. I'm gonna complete use this fish and put some retools over. I'm gonna show the squares what Jess is all about. Let's go. Increases of Moxie Bear 1. Just yet. Structure hurt here. No value at all. Ask it a secret. It's inside. A wheel. Yep, does it bother you? What? We can make these color pro. <laughs> Tell us, and it's them. Say nothing. They look sadder. They're not falling in the Let's burn them and see what they do. Wait, no. <laughs> Go on in. <laughs> to the prison. Hunting in a game nearly over. Gonna not to investigate stuff now. Small band of roaring raving maniacs. A lot of excitement energy. Questions, will you make a guess now? I've done any more questions or guesses. Can I guess? It's me, I'm your dream date. What? I've been your dream date the whole time. If I hang up, will you find me? Yes, I know who you are. Who are you two? <laughs> Silent. <laughs> the lines that maybe that's for the best. You heard them too much. Interesting. Talk to my answer. Crammy, dream and dreamy. Nice sound. Skylock practice. Any chance you want to part with your honky horn? Just playing the Marlika? Hmm. I'll stop you for a cracker. Just a cracker? Are you hungry? Oh, you're new. Ain't my job to show the ropes. Go ask Hedley for a when I show you the ropes. Your job? Guess I can't think of anything. Talk to him. Tedley, you want to buy a cracker? How much? Three inch meat. For a cracker, your cracker sitting around here. Look, crackers are what we call gifts, certificates, instead of the prison to cry factor using mixed currency. I guess that makes sense. Is it true you show ropes to fish? What year did you hear that? Here's a dirty, dirty rattle box that's been filthy. Take catch his name! If, if you find out who it was, we'll be getting way more crackers to me except the skull. I need a different kind of cracker. Sure, I'll buy a cracker. Talk to him, what do you want? Talk to him. Can you teach me to do that? Sure, for a cracker. Hard time, hard body. Thanks. Uh oh. How do you know to get a katana? Made a prison management shop or a phone license. Can I buy you a katana? Pack of cigarettes? Okay. And forge a katana. Eat. Well, I'll buy a couple of these. I got five. I think I'll be fine. Talk to him. Here you go. Super honky horn. Talk to 
them. Esther and Linfo want to sell me the spatula. Where do you find cigars in here? So, talk to her. Donna, I love to take orange. Call me treat. Tell me more. Good at imagining things. Okay, let's see. Can you teach your imagination thing? Great. Daydream believer. Apples. Okay. Okay, so I have to come back to cell two for thing. Talk to him, Mitch. Can you teach me to whistle? Right. Expert whistler. Got an item mouth for work. What's a cork for? In case you want to stop. Keep trying. Chiropractor, treat your ailments, and food for you to fix your spine. Can I get adjustments? Okay. Well adjusted, pulls one muscle. I guess it does feel. Lots of things. Can I buy gift certificates? Got a prison slop. Saw poor customer want to talk to her. Oh, nice spice jar. Uh, I'll trade you it. Thanks. Thanks. Talk to him. Moppy. Poppy can you that. You're not mopping. Nickname. Should I have a nickname? I'm oh, happy to heal one. How about Fudge? Sure, I love it. Never regret this. See you later, Moppy. Talk to him, Benny. I see. Any chance I could buy that? Never mind. I need to come back and. I need to figure out how to get a scar back. Back to Ocean City. I can get a firearm. I'll get five of those, I guess. Might as well get some extra stuff. I'll get some. Of, of the extra smelling salts, I guess. Too. <laughs> Did you use yourself? What you got? Lots of fun, different musical items. That's cool. Uh, 
us back to the Governor Valley. Oh wait, I actually do want, before I go back... No, I want to... Here, I want to go here to the camp. Away from heartbroken, heartbroken. So about those plans, extremely helpful with the A population grown remarkably. I believe I can trust you enough to reveal my full plan to you. Ooh, what is it? My belief informed that there's a small, sparsely inhabited island in the eastern ocean that is somehow unaffected by the passage of time. My intention is to gather as many hobos as possible and sail there to establish a marvelous, marvelous sparkling city, a total freedom unimpeded by this country's law and social mores. And I should name it Hoboopolis. Sounds fantastic. Hey, we see the highest honor from the from the level camp. And thanks to you, I believe I have enough people to make that fan to see really. I mean your debt. And in recognition of your actions above beyond Call of Duty, I hereby award you the highest honor I may bestow upon a non hobo. Grand token of the Hobo Empire. The nearest hobo will always assist you in combat. Thanks. I appreciate that. Hey. Nice. I'm glad I <coughs> my characters really coming along. And now I should go back to the Governor Valley, head to the prison. Who oh, jeez, that is spooky. Now we go to the black house. <laughs> Gotta fight the robots. <laughs> or ballerinas, I guess. I cannot show away they did murder being back glad I did it. Me too, we gotta stop the president from doing whatever her crazy plan is. Darn right we do. But wait, what's that? What's that? Got something behind you here. Aw oh, jeez. Don't ever change, young girl. What is she what is she planning? Wish I knew she built some kind of crazy machine, but I don't know exactly what's for. But the amount of shadow energy she's collecting is power power it. Can't be anything good. How do we stop her? Well, she set these three big weird pylon or obelisks or something. I think the function is is to pull shadow energy directly out of wherever it comes from and pump it into a machine here. So we should destroy those? Ideally before a machine does whatever it's meant to be doing. Destroy three three things. Good. What happened to you? Um, somewhat governmentally... But what ha what happened to you? Jessica told you had to been a hunting series of cursed artifacts, right? Yeah, that's how I found you. We've been using the Detectotron to find more of them to try and follow your trail. So Charles got the thing working finally? I'm sure it could save me some trouble. Anyways, a fellow show sold me a pen that could only write obscene news. Turns out 
Uh, with a little bit of coaxing, you could also to get to write to real owner's kind of dress, which was here. I wrote the letter to you before coming to seek out the place. They taught me while I was snooping around. Who's this president? I don't know much, just her name's Margaret or something. Eleven years ago, her barn exploded. That's where all the artifacts came from, I think. That's, they were stuff that was in the barn at the time. Must have been one heck of an explosion. No kidding. Five years later, she's cut she's comp patrol. Now, I guess she's shadow president or whatever that is. That was all my questions. Well, immediately relevant ones. We better get, we better get moving. Well, I guess we gotta head to the Vista Hall. Screen, collect the stuff. Approaches. Never saw a diagram. What we have on you, but looking at it, appreciate presumption. Have to destroy it, but the other two, yes, destroying them should cut off the majority of the power. And easy ascent them made a pure tiny alley. If you're right, shadow metal. Approach it. Try repeatedly punching it. Cracked knuckles. Finish the job. Next, I believe it was at the PDQ central office. Approach it. Try head do the head banging thing. The last one was at the telephone facility. Chit, chomp, chomp, chomp. But anyways, got shattered teeth. That's one, gotta get back. Let's go! Move, move, move! We gotta get this done! Topple the statue! Let's go! Go, go, go! He rushed into the foyer of the black house. Murray leads you up a corridor down the flight stairs to a huge basement laboratory. The huge room, uh, the room is dominated by a massive writhing Terran space, seemingly confided in a fan frame. The president's typing furiously at a computer console nearby, but she turns you around momentarily when you enter. She glares at you, practically hissing. I knew I should have trusted that idiot know what to do with you. I noticed the shadow flowers drop back to ambient levels. I assumed that was your doing. Yeah, I busted your weird pillows and now I'm busting you. Oh no, no, I'd be really upset if you weren't too late. Oh, nuts. Yeah, nuts to you. The portal is open. After I make these last few calibrations, the Emperor of all the Shadows will be summoned to this plane to kneel before me. I will rule this universe, not as a present shadows, but as the Empress. Well, that was a much bigger goal than I was expecting. Yeah, go big or go home, right? Anyways, don't try and stop me. Without any of my attention at this console to keep the reaction steady, this king could implode and turn this whole trident area into a smoking crater. Jeez, okay. Well, mind if I have a look around? Sure, whatever. Just don't piss me unless you want everyone to... You ever heard of you die, okay? A lot of potions. Mm. Do some cooking, fancy foods. Make some fancy foods. Just gonna make some honestly random. Honestly, I'm just make some stuff. Don't have any combat items. And bomb called together from like rounds. Good job. What problem was intentional. Uh, plan exactly, so I'm trying to summon, apply enough pressure at the right time, we can reverse the flow. 
So, suck out and speaks no more problem. Well, not exactly, or rather, yes, but that's not the end of it. You also take care of what's on, on the waiting on the other side of the portal. Oh, oh, you're saying I have to go through and fight it, aren't you? I don't know if it'll be a little fight or yeah. It's long and short of it. This is the end game, no coming back from this. Well, let me be more explicit. This is literally the end game. Once I set off this bomb and you go through that portal, you can't come back, and the game ends one way or another. But nothing good gets saved after you go, so you can reload back here and playing it afterwards. <laughs> it's okay, Cody. It wasn't really you I was talking to. Let me ca take care of something first. Mix some potions. Oh, I don't have anything for mixing potions. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, good thing again. I think this is bomb wire. I can toss it and set it off from here by overloading the other who's, who's in it. Hopefully it won't jump and me get killed, but you gotta jump through right away. Okay. No! Nothing. Let's give the devil his due. Resolution. You, Obi, and the president, and your machines, and a sizable chunk of flow appear in the middle of a pale void, lit by just the ripe life stars that burnt out countless eons ago. What did you do? Threw a little monkey wrench into your plan. Don't try and act cool about this. You don't have the slightest idea what power you're messing with. Oh yeah, like what? Welcome, playthings. You look over to the right where you see a hovering swarm of giant mouth and eyes. You get the feeling that this is actually your brain and it's best to, to render your what you're actually seeing in a way that won't simply annihilate your mind. Particularly that. Was this the, the, the whole deal just in a giant monkey spot? Like, I did it all, achieve ultimate power, but also got cursed to be constantly surrounded by more. It's, hey! Poor frame still intact. Maybe I can reopen it and fix this. Oh, you can get us back. I can get me back. Then continue with my plan to summon the Emperor to our universe under control, but conditions as intended. Yes. What if I don't want you to do that? Do I look like someone who gives a hawk crap what you want? Go away. Go die in the void. Sheesh, someone's cranky. Take a look closely. This thought acknowledges is comprehensible for you. You've inspected the poor fight, but you can't think of anything to do with their help. Which implies that you missed some optional stuff, but that's what we plays are for. Hello. Be not afraid. Welcome to my run. What are you? I am what the shadows... Wh I am what the shadows the shadow of. Nice, you can get it. It's living. Try to sound desperate. Smooth talk it. Have you seen some... Intimidated? reason with it. Yeah. Pry yourself away from the gaze. I can try and f Trapped it. Any chance I could give you a plan to unslay from any universe in general? John Christ, if I brought a gun with me, you'd be dead right now. Tuck her out of this. No, we can't. Strangle the hands or just leave her alone. Be not afraid. Fight it. Haha, <laughs> fight me very well. I'll give you one chance, all or nothing. Fight! Hello, Gabby is here to give the fight. Come on, Trigger, let's send this whoop back to where it crawled. Okay. Back and crawled out of the ground. Bad things kill now. Not sure how they made it here, but you can get all the help you can get. It's time. Uh, let's see here. Um, I guess I'll do. Uh, let's see here. All, f all stats by seven. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is some cheese. Does that bump up this? No. Physical armor. Elemental armor. Future Esther Asiaki. Guess I can. Poison and on fire. Okay. Can't. There's no room. Let's see. Can't do that. Can't do that. Do 
want to heal Umbra. There it is. There, so. Dealing food, combat damage. Okay, did some damage. Several more items that I can use. Uh, nothing. More of these, which I can. See, God, so. Um, I guess I'll do damage. Looking at back in my room with everything I have achieved and accomplished. The TV turns on. Well, sometimes the best way to deal with the universe to shrink that is just to hit it with something until it stops moving. Nice work. After the metaphorical smoke cleared, you found yourself stuck in the weird, exponential thing. Fortunately, the fact that you created a temporal paradox before you left the universe meant that you could never come back to normal reality. We did a billion years only to find that was the beginning. Actually, it's me and this to say it's the beginning. The first billion years weren't any different than the next billion. It was still there. You, could always, you always have been. The universe ended and you weren't in it. Murray's bomb blasted him past the borders of reality. He drifted outside the world for about a time that might have been five minutes or five thousand years. The only way to be sure is not to press any, if press any key for five thousand years, then you know if it was that long. After a few weeks later, Jessica accidentally activated the fear safe and dimensional homing teleporter girl Mari had left in one of the desk drawers. She was looking for a pen. Mari was wrenched through the ether and then unsamorously dumped on the floor of the antique store. They spent a while trying to figure out what happened to you, but didn't have any luck. Being outside of the, the entirety of the time and space makes you pretty hard to track down. Eventually, Mari gave up and started looking for another relative to help him with his future ventures. Noblesse Oblige did a brisk trade into the end of Prohibition, at which point it did an even briskier one. Obo decided to leave the hobo's life behind and just play the obo full time. When they saw a television underground bare knuckle boxing, Gabby really got excited and joined the league. The combat style was a mixture of different martial arts that came from being known as super weird fighting. 
Molly went on to become the most notorious bank robber of era. She was last seen somewhere in Bolivia. After your adventures were over, Alpha Silver went to his terrible family in the swamp. The streets of Ocean Street are relatively safe. A few gangs fights notwithstanding. King Johnny got the camp loaded up onto the ocean with Samuel and Ajmin doing most of the heavy lifting. With the wind at their backs, they set sail for the distant shores. Thanks to Ovid and Curious, the expedi expedition was comfortable and well-funded. Sure, it was boring most of the time, but how he entertained folks with his harmonica and Jesse brought a deck, full of, deck of cards. Whenever anyone got scratched up or seasick, Doc was there to provide some medical attention. Nights were cold, but between Patricia's wool and Kelly's moonshine, everyone was pretty cozy. They ate cream fish thanks to water and creamy Steve, Cornelius and Beanie provided cornbread and beans. Mossman provided fine herbs and exotic spices. After a long and difficult journey, they arrived at the land they had promised to themselves. They found a new nation, Nation of Hobos, by Hobos for Hobos, which, with liberty and justice for Hobos. Marvin set on to s went on to sell word record for a mailboxing sitting. He had the record for nearly a week. He recently became interested in flagpoles. The bishop inspected went swimmingly, and the visitor of St. Polycamp was soon promoted to vice pope. With that whole grisly murder business behind her, Spiro went on to win the boarding house of Decade Award for International Salesman League. Crystal Store was moderately successful, but she was confident that in about 40 years, bus business would boom. Greta Risley invested all the meat you spent on her store and eventually expanded to a nationwide chain. Seventy years from now, the historical vi village of Sandwich is a popular, tor popular tourist attraction. It's particularly popular among mix-up hipsters who get confused with Sandwich, Brooklyn. Joey Martin went on to discover a new extremely volatile isotope of hypocristine thermoric diorites. With it, she eventually invented the devastating weapon that brought about the end of the skeleton wars. History mostly remembers her for what she said after the weapon's first successful field test. I am becomes death, death to the shore of skeletons. Your champion's trophy remains crowning achievement of SIT Foo Fight Team. This is true, mostly true because they never won another one before the program was cancelled. <laughs> In 1981, Mud Henge was acquired by the Stonehenge Corporation, renamed to Stonehenge Mud, and shut down. In 100 years, you were the only non nudist to find its center. With your help, Wana Museum became the first person in history to fly all the way around the swamp. Her fame lasted until nearly a month later when Charles Langman was seen buying a new set of shoelaces. Frogger Ham turned Ham Quarantine, ecologically responsible worker collective, which did quite well. He spent most of his share of the profits on fast cars, sandwiches, and open minded women. The loss of Tom and Kathy plunged large mouth bass and sons into a success sh succession crisis. In the chaos, the bastard reboner uh, returned from exile and made his claim on the throne. Although Tom and Kathy Judge Wig business ever took off domestically, they were knighted in Albion for services to judicial fashion. Paul Leathers used his new tongue to preach non-violence and counted many troubled youth away from the life of big game hunting. To appease his brother, John Leathers agreed to read a book on pacifism. And the work of the Longfellow was swallowed whole by the swamp. Though the bone may belong, not is longer than nature's mouth. The kids with glasses spent a week bragging after you proved his theory about big hands. The plant kid will happily wear Mossman's mushrooms for the rest of his life. The chemist kid is still reeling from the whiff of the smell of wisp he brought for her. The radio kid still probably wears the feather he brought him from Barbara Yarga. The kid with the wrench still tells stories about the time he captured Cooper Hadrian. The fly girl is still grateful for the chest hair he brought her from Plumberg. The wheel hunter moved to the international walls to escape federal persecution for marble fraud. The last place remained uninhabited until 1990s when it became a hotbed for swinging sexy singles. With no natural predators to thin their numbers, macaques millions sheep bred out of control. He went on to become the region's primary supplier of both mittens and mutton. Despite all the efforts, Maze uh, may stay pretty much exactly the same forever. Billy made sure of that. Workers at the Ford compound were able to get their factory machine back up and running. After months of research and hard work, they were finally able to make a car entirely out of beans. It smelled awful and nobody would buy it, but so they ended up abandoning it on the streets of Ocean City. 
Oh, hey, Mel, never spawn again. The end. Wow, that was that was certainly something. I know I didn't get every little thing, but I do really enjoy all of this. If you enjoy traveling, you might enjoy Westover a little bit. <laughs> and I definitely met, uh, enjoyed this. Obviously, I played the West of Loathing, and I tried a little bit of the Kingdoms of the Loathing on my own. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, a month of your lives. And may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Goodbye, everybody.